वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज सो आई विल डू सम रिलेटेड कंपेरेटिव स्टडी ऑफ रूबी ऑन रेल एंड अदर वेब बेस्ड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सर्वर वेब सर्वर बेस्ड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इट इज ओपन सोर्स दिस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट फीचर ऑफ दिस रूबी ऑन रेल Ruby on Rail is open source uh, programming language, and open source we can you know, we can say it open source web application framework, and uh, it is written is uh, Ruby, and in 2003 it was developed by Hanson, and Rail can work with multiple type of server and database. Uh, uh, this is also uh, one of the biggest feature of this Ruby on Rail, and Ruby uh, identifier. Uh, ruby identifiers are case sensitive so we can say it case sensitive programming language and uh, these are some features of uh, ruby ruby on rail these are the uh, also call we we can call it advantage of ruby on rail uh, its simplicity its faster development easy code maintenance and update and it is cost effective and it is uh, it can develop quality protect cost cost effective it effective because of uh, this is open source software and this is uh, available freely on web and you can download it uh, from the web so in next lecture i will discuss about how to execute the program of ruby on rail so these are the advantage of ruby on rail uh, so you can see here uh, uh, these company like air bnb and kick starter github and uh, hulu twitter they all are developed in ruby on rail so you can understand the importance of ruby on rail twitter like software is twitter like social networking site is developed by uh, uh, this ruby on rail so um, ruby on rail is very um, uh, important and very faster uh, web development uh, software and uh, this is being widely used in uh, software industry and there are many benefit of this ruby on rail it is perfect for web technology uh, it can save money and save time because uh, open source that's why it save the money and it save time because it is faster and active and helpful community it can develop active and helpful community and um, build your own plug and play apps so you can develop your own plug and play apps from this ruby on rail and uh, it it's a big player and it is uh, used by the major uh, player of the software industry so these are the benefit of ruby on rail now uh, the main question uh, why ruby on rail is chosen out of hundreds of other programming languages uh, other uh, web programming languages other hundreds of web programming language uh, because of it is time efficient number 1 number 2 ruby on rail contains many ready made plugins and modules to isme bahut sare ready made plugins aur modules hain is karan bhi ye bahut important programming language hai uh, and it it allows uh, developer not to waste time on writing um, boilerplate code to uh, and it is proven that ruby on rail terms build application 30 to 40% faster than uh, than terms using other programming languages and framework so ye kehta hai ki uh, roughly uh, it is 30 to 40 it develop the application which is 30 to 40% faster than other programming languages to so, uh, abhi existing situation mein aur uh, to to without wasting time hum isme फास्ट कोड डेवलपमेंट कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज दीज आर द बेनिफिट ऑफ रूबी ऑन रेल एंड दैट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इट इज कंसिस्टेंट एंड डेवलपर फॉलो द स्टैंडाइज फाइल स्टोरेज प्रोग्रामिंग कन्वेंशन टू टेक प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर एंड रिटेबल इट इज इट ऑल्सो सेव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम इट इज कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव रूबी ऑन रेल इज ओपन सोर्स फ्रेमवर्क डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अंडर एम आई टी लाइसेंस दैट मीन्स Uh, you don't have to spend money spend money on framework itself to so, aapko framework nahi purchase karna hai isme it is freely available isiliye humne yahan pe second paragraph mein likha hai it is cost effective because it is open source framework distributed under mit license and 
it can save plenty of developer time and effort too and you can find gems for any purpose and download download them for free from github and a platform where developers share open source code to github se aap jahan pe open source code aapko milte hain wahan se you can download this um, ruby on rail and this is very cost effective and you don't have, have to spend any money and this is open source framework and it it supported means there is a majority of blogs books meetups and conference in the ruby uh, on rails world so uh, you can find this one uh, ye jo hai blogs hai books hai ye sari cheeze ruby on rail platform pe aapko milengi so these are the benefit of ruby on ruby on rail and it uh, works on the mbc pattern model view controller view means action model means um, designing the uh, action and uh, taking data from database and controller action controller so this is somehow this is based on this model view controller architecture so we have already discussed in uh, last year about model view controller struct is based on model view controller and now coming on the this uh, programming so how to start the programming uh, in ruby on rail basically uh, print and puts function are used um, to display uh, to print the value of uh, any string and any variable so you can see here print hello friend this uh, this is the print statement puts also we have been puts name name my name is this जो भी नाम नेम यहाँ पे लिखा है पुट्स माय नेम इज कंचन एंड प्रिंट्स माय नेम इज संतोष एंड प्रिंट माय नेम इज लता सो वी हैव डिफरेंट प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट आर गिवन हियर प्रिंट एंड पुट स्टेटमेंट सो वी कैन यूज प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट एज वेल एज पुट स्टेटमेंट एंड वी कैन यूज डिफरेंट ऑपरेटर्स आल्सो इन रूबी ऑन रेल like in c language or java language we have been different operators arithmetic operator comparison operator assignment operator bitwise operator logical operator ternary operator we can use all these operator in ruby on rail but they are used almost same as in java and c language so before reading this uh, ruby on rail you have to be prior knowledge of c or java so you can see here the operator so plus minus multiply divide and percentage means modulus um, sign this the last sign is the modulus sign so we can write the statement like a plus b equals to 30 a minus b equals to 10 if a and b are 20 then a plus b equals to 30 a minus b equals to minus 10 a multiplied b equals to 200 it will calculate it and b divided by a equals to 2 ye do two calculate karega and b modulus a equals to 0 modulus is used for reminder so this will be the output when we will use these operator with these two variable a and b variable so these are the arithmetic operator and other operators are also be used same way as the arithmetic operators are used and now see in this uh, uh, code of this part uh, in this space in this slide where we have given some part of code so here a equals to 5 plus 15 and then we will write put a so it will display the value of a put will print the value so in java we use uh, system dot out dot print ln while here we will uh, use put function or print function so in the second program program 5 we have a equals to 5 a plus equals to 15 so we can use assignment operator uh, here also so a plus equal to this assignment operator this uh, this can be used java in java also so here we have written put a so it will display 20 output will be 20 and this is 5 5 five to the power uh, 3 so double asterisk is used to power so a equals to 5 uh, to the power 3 so if single asterisk it means multiplication and double asterisk will, um, asterisk sign will represent power of 5 so 5 into 5 into 5 it will return 125 put a will return 125 
so these are the example of arithmetic operator now you can see here comparison operator so double equal sign is for equal equal to and not equal to this is not equal to this is greater than this is less than and this is greater than equal to same way less than equal to so we have different comparison operator so we can use this comparison operator in uh, with a and b variable so if we will write here a double equals to b then it will return not true and if not equal to b it will return true if a is greater than b a greater than b it will return not true if a less than b it will return true if a greater than equal to it will again return not true so this way we can use comparison operator now see some more statement control statement so if statement else if statement and else statement you can see here we have been three program in the first program we have been used if statement a equals to 4 uh, so we have written here if a greater than 2 then puts a is greater than 2 and if will be closed by and so you can understand by this slide the use of if statement so this is Uh, output a is greater than two, and in second statement you have a equals to one, a is greater than two, then puts a is greater than two. Otherwise it will display. Uh, otherwise we have given here else if l if you have to write e capital e l s e l s i f a is less than equal to two, and a is not equal to zero, then puts. A is one, so this condition is true. So the output will be this. Or otherwise, we have given here else puts this is undefined, and this will be end here. So we will write here. We are writing here else if statement. Else, else e l s i f. So if e l s i f and else and finally end. So we can write this statement as well as this statement also. this is also um, uh, a part of code where a equals to 1 if a is greater than 2 then a puts a is greater than 2 so then it will print this message but if a is not greater than 2 a is less than 2 then we will move on else and here we have written put a is less than 2 so it will print here a is less than 2 and if will be and by this and statement so these are the output so uh, these are very simple program of uh, ruby on rails so we can write uh, if statement else if statement uh, and if uh, else statement uh, this is nested if we can call it nested if if inside if so um, these are the format of st control statement in this ruby on rails now coming to uh, the different loop which are used in ruby on rails so we have been while loop do while loop and for loop so we can use all three loop in ruby on rail also already already we have man, uh, done the use of these while loop in java and c language wahan pe bhi hamara jo use hota tha waise hi use hum yahan pe bhi karenge uh, there are some difference in the in the syntax of the um, loop प्रोग्रामिंग लिखने के तरीका वही होगा पर थोड़े से जो है तरीके चेंज हो जाएंगे यहाँ पे सो हाउ टू राइट फाइव लूप सी इन दिस प्रोग्राम सो वी हैव अ वेरिएबल आई इक्व टू जीरो आई एंड नाम इक्व टू फाइव सो वी आर राइटिंग हेयर द वाइल लूप आई फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव आई लेस देन नाम सो वी विल राइट हेयर डू पुट आई so it will print the value of i initially i is 0 so it will print the value of i 0 then i equals to i plus 1 then we will move on again we will move on while loop while ab i ki value 1 ho gayi hai 1 is less than 5 so again we will come inside the loop and put 1 it means we will print 1 and then i equals to i plus 1 i will be 2 again we will write here 2 less than number so again we will write here put 2 And i equals to i plus one. I will be three. And then uh, three is less than number. So we'll come inside it, in, come inside the loop and put three. And then uh, this way up to four we will print the value zero to four we will print the value by this while loop. This is the format of while loop. And now see this program where we are writing 
डू वाइल लूप लाइक इन जावा वी हैव डू वाइल जावा और सी लैंग्वेज वी हैव डू वाइल बट इन रूबी ऑन रेल दिस इज कॉल्ड बिगिन एंड वाइल सो यू कैन सी हियर वी आर चेकिंग कंडीशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लूप तो यहाँ पर वाइल लिखने के बाद लूप हम चेक कर रहे हैं बट इन दिस केस वी आर राइटिंग द प्रोग्राम लाइक दैट वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बिग एन एंड वी आर एंडिंग इट एंड वाइल आई लेस देन नंबर तो यहाँ पे हम इस तरह से प्रोग्राम को दे रहे हैं सो इनिशियली आई जीरो एंड नंबर इक्व टू जीरो देन वी आर हियर ऑन बिग एन एंड पुट आई आई मीन्स जीरो इट विल डिस्प्ले जीरो आई इक्व टू आई प्लस वन एंड देन वी हैव गिवन हियर कंडीशन सो आई इज वन वन लेस देन नंबर वन इज लेस देन जीरो नो सो कंडीशन इज फॉल्स सो वी विल कम आउट फ्रॉम द लूप दोबारा से लूप में नहीं जाएंगे देन वी विल कम आउट फ्रॉम द लूप तो एक ही बार लूप चलेगा तो इन दिस कंडीशन एटलीस्ट वन टाइम एक बार कम से कम लूप चलता ही है इसमें जब तक हम कंडीशन कब चेक होती है लास्ट में चेक होती है तो एक बार तब तक चल चुका होता है लूप सो दिस इज डू वाई लूप लाइक इन जावा तो जावा को बेस मानते हुए हम इस लैंग्वेज को सीख रहे हैं क्योंकि जावा हम मान के चल रहे हैं एवरीबडी नोज द जावा तो जावा में जो डू वाइल का फॉर्मेट है वो यहाँ पे बिगिन एंड वाइल का है और जावा में जो वाइल लूप है वो यहाँ पे वाइल एंड का है सो एवरी लूप विल एंड बाय एंड की सेम वे हियर आल्सो सो दिस डू वाइल लूप आल्सो एंड बाय एंड एंड वाइल तो यहाँ पे एंड वाइल देन कंडीशन सो वी विल स्टार्ट बाय बिग एन सो नाउ सी दिस फॉर लूप Uh, in case of for loop, we uh, write the for loop like that. Unix में भी हम कुछ इस तरह से लिखते हैं वहाँ पे for each का use करते हैं तो for i in जीरो to फाइव जीरो double dash फाइव means जीरो to फाइव means this for loop will start from जीरो uh, when the i when the value of i will be जीरो then it will move up to फाइव and every time it will print the value. so we have written here for i 0 to 5 so initially value of i is 0 so it will print 0 then next time it uh, the value of i will be 1 then it will print 1 then 2 3 4 up to 5 it will move up to 5 not less than 5 up to 5 5 be 5 also be included here now see these two uh, uh, different set of program and these two program where we are using break and Uh, break statement as well as in in the next one in next program we have been array so here we are using break statement so uh, basically the break statement are used with the switch statement so here inside the for loop inside the loop we can also uh, use break break statement so here we have a for loop from 0 to 5 i in 0 to 5 so initially i will be 0 if i is greater than Two then break. If i is if i is greater than two then break. Uh, otherwise, so यहाँ पे हम इसको अगर two से greater है तो break कर देंगे तो initially i zero zero is not less than two, so we'll break. And then we'll print print the value of i. I will be zero. Again, uh, again. Um, in second program. In second round, I will be one. So one is greater than two. Then again, it will be break, and uh, we will print the value of uh, i. So put i equals to one. Then in third round, we have i. Uh, the value of i is two. Two is greater than two. No. Then again, we'll use here break, and um, we'll print the value of i. Two will be printed, and in next round. I will be three. Three will be three. Three is greater than two. Then we will come to break. So, a little bit of confusion is that in the first three rounds, we will not come to break. When I am not greater than two, then break will not happen in that condition. So, it will come to print. So, zero will print, one will print, two will print. जैसे ही थ्री पे पहुंच पहुंचे आई थ्री हो गया तो थ्री पे आते ही थ्री इज ग्रेटर देन टू देन इट विल ब्रेक तो ब्रेक कर देगा यानी कि फॉलो यहीं पर खत्म हो जाएगा और पहली तीन कंडीशन में ये इफ के अंदर आएगा ही नहीं जब अंदर नहीं आएगा तो ब्रेक नहीं होगा तो केवल पुट चलेगा और ये प्रिंट कर देगा जीरो वन और टू को बट 
अगले राउंड में जैसे ही थ्री पे पहुंचता है तो थ्री इज ग्रेटर देन टू देन इट विल ब्रेक द लूप लूप को ब्रेक कर देगा और लूप से हम बाहर आ जाएंगे अब देखिए नेक्स्ट का यूज दिस इज द ब्रेक की वर्ड एंड सेकेंड वन इज द नेक्स्ट की वर्ड सो हियर अगेन वी आर यूजिंग द फॉर लूप फॉर लूप फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव एंड हियर आई इज लेस देन टू वी हैव गिवन हियर कंडीशन आई इज लेस देन टू सो इनिशियली आई जीरो जीरो इज लेस देन टू देन वील गो टू नेक्स्ट यानी कि नेक्स्ट पर जाएंगे तो हम क्या क्या करेंगे कि यहाँ के बाद के स्टेटमेंट पर भी नहीं आएंगे नेक्स्ट क्या करेगा सीधे सीधे फिर से फॉलो पर चले जाएगा I now I will be one. One is less than two. Yes. फिर से next next पर पहुँच जाएंगे नीचे नहीं आएंगे Again I will be two. Two is less than two. No. Two is less than two. No. Two two से कम नहीं है कम था तब हम नेक्स्ट पर पहुंच जाएंगे अब कम नहीं है अब कंडीशन चेंज होगी नाउ वी विल नॉट कम इन साइड दिस इफ कंडीशन सो वी विल कम हियर एंड पाएंगे एंड हो जाएगा इफ उसके बाद हम पुट पाएंगे पुट आई आई मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस विल प्रिंट द दिस विल प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई अगेन आई एम कमिंग ऑन दिस दैट प्रोग्राम You, we will write here small i, not capital I. This will be I. So you can see here uh, in this program we have been uh, this I. So uh, in case of two, when I is two, then two is not less than two. So uh, we will not come inside the if condition and we will come here and and then put I. put the value of t put the value print the value of i so the value of i will be printed here too to pehle do case mein zero aur one ke case mein zero aur one dono two se kam the to wahan pe kya ho raha tha next execute ho raha tha aur next kya karta tha agle for loop pe chala gaya for loop ke agle round pe chala jata hai niche nahi aa raha so but in this case when we have the value of i is 2 2 is not less than 2 then we will come here the value of i will be printed and we will come on and again we will move on for loop and there we have the value of i is 3 3 again not less than 2 so we will not come inside the if loop and then we will come here we will print the value of i i will be 3 so i 3 will be printed here then 4 then 5 so up to 5 we will print the value because the loop up to is up to 5 so this is uh, the for loop now i am and showing you one more program uh, the program of array where we have this array so we can define array in ruby on rail by this statement you can see here a equals to array and we have given the value uh, we have given 1 2 3 4 5 6 values and we can write here a string as well as number so when we will print this array then we will write here put a then it will print all the values 1 2 3 4 5 6 values all six values it will print all six values and array is a data structure that contains a group of element which are same and typically these element are all of same data type such as integer or string so they can be either integer or either Uh, string so here we have given two numbers so these number will be treated as a uh, string type and again we have been one more array so this is another example number equals to nums equals to array dot we are writing here array dot and this is array sign and inside the bracket we have been numbers so we can write this way Uh, or we can write this way a equals to array like that like like this a equals to array and inside square bracket we have been the value or we can write this way also array dot square bracket and inside bracket different values so these are two method of defining array so this is array so you can understand all these programs uh, and this programming is very simple and Uh, you can use most of the syntax and most of the operator uh, like java and 
uh, this is open source software and it, this is very uh, cost effective and it is very fast and um, most of the software companies are using Ruby on Rails. So seeing the importance of this programming language, this is important. This is a very essential part of your subject or um, for career also. So um, thank you very much uh, listening to this lecture. In next lecture, I will explain you the rest of part of this uh, Ruby on Rail about database connectivity as well as uh, how to write the um, uh, program and how to uh, execute the program in Ruby on Rail um, software. So, and also I will ex explain you how to download the software. So in next class, we'll discuss about all these facts uh, till the time. Thank you very much.